Hey everybody, Wes here. Um, doing a quick review. Let me get, let me minimize some things here. And sorry, there we go. Let's bring this up. Sorry. And now I can switch everything. So just so I can hear everything, I'm just gonna use these Bose earbuds real quick through my microphone. Give me one second. All right, <clears throat> now you guys can hear me, or I can hear myself. Um, just want to do a quick review of something that I found. Um, I have these Sennheisers, you know, these Sennheiser. These are the original Momentums. Uh, they're the black and the red. If you look at, you see, it's kind of hard to see. They're the black and the red with the red stitching. Um, I love these things. These are probably one of my favorite pair of headphones I ever, ever, ever had and still have today i still listen to these however you can see that open box right there i got a new review coming so i love these sennheisers um i use sennheisers come with two different cords they come with one with a microphone cord and then they come with one with just a regular cord uh only four and a half feet which if the cell phone is right there that's fine but my you know, I have an L-shaped desk, so th my Mac is here, and then my work computers are right here to the left of me. And, you know, uh, my amp my headphone amplifier is right here. So I needed a longer cable. So I started researching cables and everything, and I found a couple companies that I liked. Some were a little bit more expensive than what I wanted to uh, pay um, because I don't see paying for cables that cost more than the headphones themselves. And that's my thought process on most of the audio equipment that I have. You know, if I have a $200 DAC, I'm not going to spend, you know, $1,000 on RCA cables. It just doesn't make sense, you know. Um, does it sound good? Yeah. Do you need it? Mm, probably not. It's not going to sound that much better. I mean, still, you know, it, 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 you know it's a seesaw effect. So normally what I would do... It was I would run off the 2.5 jack, and then I would use um, an AudioQuest uh, quarter inch going into my 3.5, and that would go into my headphone uh, amp. Uh, the only thing is, is um, either they were too expensive, or they didn't make them anymore. But I did find a, a couple companies that did make some, but again, price was an issue. I'm not, again even spending $300 on a headphone cord. You're only talking a few feet. It's not going to make that much of a difference. It does make a difference, but not like, not like your um, surround sound stuff that you got, right? So the one thing that is different with this one, and I, it's kind of going to be kind of hard to see, it's it's got one of those twist-in cables, right? So that's a reason why a lot of people don't make cables for the original Sennheisers or they don't make them anymore because it's just hard to get that connector. I mean, it, it's very hard. Again, it, you can see it right there a little bit. And there you go. You stick it in and you twist it and it locks in. And I love that. It locks in. It doesn't pull out. Awesome. Love that. Came across a company called Heart Audio Cables. Heart Audio, Heart Audio Cables, something like that. H-A-R-T. I'm thinking it's the person's last name. Um, just got it today. I've been doing a, a lot of listening with it. Uh, so I ordered a cable from them. And you can, he does make cables um, in bulk. Well, not in bulk, but he does make regular cables. But then he does do special orders. But I think it's just him and himself. So he'll, you, have to, you, know, you have to go to his link to where it says custom orders. And then you can see a little bit where um, you can hit add to order and then he emails you or somebody emails you there from it um, so i got my cables today so first off packaging comes in this pretty cool um good way to keep costs down right um because it's just a you know headphone cable you know it's not like it's an audio quest angel rcas right um but i like that you know it came in the mail right it was fit right there in my um right in my mailbox so i like that opened it up and the cable, uh, again, in a little plastic baggie. I like that. Keeping costs down to where it saves me money and he makes more money. I'm okay with that, right? I want people to make money. I don't want people not to make money. 
um, but things like this and you know this is I mean it's insulated and it's got the bubble wrap inside so this is no big deal I, I, I'm okay with this you know I'm fine with it again it keeps costs down uh, for me and he can make more money because he's not spending a whole bunch of money on packaging right that's a win-win for both of us so it comes in this little cable pretty awesome and inside it comes with two things that I really do love I, one thing that I really love is stickers I love stickers oops sorry sorry heart audio love stickers just I need I'm, I'm collecting a lot of stickers I have no place to put it so I, I need to get like a rack where I can start putting all my stickers on so two uh, heart audio uh, stickers pretty cool um, it gives it comes with instructions or not instructions but tips like it'll come with this little business card right here and then it'll give you some tips on some things like basically it says um, not machine washable uh, not for climbing sometimes connections are tight at first and they go away after a cycle or two if a for unplugging and unplugging remove cables from headphones equipment by grabbing at the connector do not pull by the cable you know I'm in the automotive industry uh, and whenever you get warnings like this um, there, there are specific reasons why because some moron has done one of these you know they they've tried to clean the cable and they ruined the cable or they're grabbing by the cord and yanked it out you know by giving this you know this lets all the dum dums out there know don't do this um, another company that does this is Adams Polishes uh, it's some of the back of their stuff uh, of their cleaning products for cars it'll tell you a little common sense comes into play and it literally says that you know, don't use it for this. Use it for this. Don't use it for what it's not intended to, to be used in. You know, so that's pretty cool. I like it when companies do that because common sense isn't common to everybody. Also came in there, um, basically just notes and items, everything that I came with. And I'm, and I'm, I'm going to read off this what I ordered. And then it has this heart audio cable. And then it's got like, um, it's got, well, I'll just show it to you. It's got his contact information, you know, things like that. Um, some uh, QR things to read. The QR thing says club, club, club hits. Uh, and then Hannah's playlist, the legend. So I'm probably, it'll give you whoever Hannah is, um, her specific playlist, you know, and it, and it, you know, it says James and everyone here at HAC, just a few things. So pretty cool. I like that. Um, when you're in the customer service business, customer service is everything. You live and die by your customers and how well or how poor you treat them. So um, basically, let me go over this before I show you the cable. Um, it was a locking 2.5 TRS uh, flat top headphone cable. Momentum, because that's the style of uh, Sennheiser headphones. Six feet, uh, custom termination. I got a quarter inch on the one and then custom uh, color for the scarlet red. So let me show you. Let me pull them out. So this is what I mean by it's locking. So you just can't pull this out. I don't want to pull too hard because I don't want to break it on the video. You just can't pull this out. You have to twist and it comes out. Now it comes with the terminations, right? So here's my quarter inch. Here's my 2.5 with the special Sennheiser. See, can, I don't know, can you see a little bit better? No, you can't. It's too dark in this side. I'm going to have to get a, um, a light so you guys can see this a little bit better. Scarlet red. There you go. Scarlet red. And you know what? I like it. Um, it it gives me the option because basically, you know, let me show you what I have to do. So here's my Mac. I sit, I have to sit closer to my uh, work computer and my amp is all the way over here, right? So gives me that six feet is what I needed. The four and a half feet that actually came with the Sennheiser cable. I was basically pulling my... Um, headphone amplifier over and now eventually it was going to break so I, before that happened i went and bought a six foot cable now one thing that i was watching uh, a couple of older youtube channels that were talking about the heart cables and one of the complaints they had was at the end of the connection well they must have listened or you know, that was early on in their, in their, in their genesis, that was their genesis of their company, or they just must have listened. And the actual, the ends are a lot better. So it's actually almost like a heat shrink that's on there. So there's no bare cable. And then on this end, 
There you go right there. It's nice and sealed off. So really do like it. Love it. Um, uh, it was, I believe, $50, $55 for six feet for a custom cable. Um, and I think it was $60 altogether with shipping. So I want to say it was $55 or something like that. $50 or $55. And then uh, you, they added shipping, which but I paid $60. Bucks. You know what? $60 bucks for six feet. So you're talking, what, $10 bucks a feet? A foot? That's, 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 you know, and I didn't have to do it, right? So, I mean, because I have big hands. Um, I'm, I'm a, you know, you guys have seen my channel. I got electric trains and I got big hands and it's hard for me to solder small little wires like that. So same thing here. Pay someone to do it. Heart Audio. Awesome. Love it. You know, nice, good connections. And cool thing, not the screw on here, right? Because you get those older cheap ones. Remember the ones back in the 80s, if you're old enough to know? Remember? Um, these were screw in. You screw in and it, the sleeve would come off. No, it's in there. I love this cable. Um, didn't, uh, maybe the sound was just a touch, a touch higher. The sound was a little bit higher. Um, so I, I don't, I don't think, I didn't see anything on there that gave, you know, performance. This is a, just a, just a, an ends to a mean, basically. If you need longer cables, here is a, an affordable, I don't want to say cheap because cheap means it's degrading the, the value of, of the company and the brand. Here's an affordable way to get the longer cables that you need. So really awesome. I love the connections that they that they have in it. It's sealed right there. It's the non-screw type. Um, it looks like it's been, I don't want to say heat shrink. Maybe it is heat shrink. I don't know. But it's sealed. I like that. And it works, right? It goes in the way it's supposed to. Right, again, slide it in and twist. Now it's locked in. There we go. Love it. And I get the orange. I got scarlet red to match the inside red because these headphones, uh, these momentums are the black and red. And I think I got these in 2014, maybe 2012. Can't remember when I got them when they first came out. Still love them. Love them today. They're one, they're my, one of my favorite headphones. I mean, it's a Sennheiser brand, right? I've rarely ever had a Sennheiser headphone that didn't sound good. I did have one, but you know, you could tell by the price of it. It was one of those sport in ear ones, you know, it was like yellow and green and it was just, you know, it was, it was, and I think they were only like 1999. What do you expect for 1999? Right. But anyway, these things were awesome. I love them, but I needed a longer cable. And I think the volume is a little bit louder because this is the cable sticker, uh, the insulation, right? There's no crosstalk noise. It's not absorbing, you know, other radio frequencies and stuff like that so i really do like it. i think i think that's why if not someone out there there's probably an engineer out there that can correct me tell me if i'm wrong um or if it's just a placebo effect but it, it did sound louder from when i switched to cables because i didn't turn the volume down and i was like it kind of took me by surprise but love these cables uh definitely definitely recommend these heart cables especially if you're not wanting to spend Four hundred dollars on a pair of headphone cables. Look, if you have, you know, the Focal Utopia, a six thousand dollar pair of headphones, then yes, a four hundred dollar headphone cable is because you can afford it, right? That's fine. I, I don't have the Utopias. I can't afford those, right? So I'm not going to buy them. I mean, buying a four hundred dollar headphone cable for a, a headphone that's you know eight years old. I want to say 2014. I think 2014 is when I bought these, but a headphone that's eight years old and I'm going to put, you know, don't get me wrong. These are still great. It just doesn't make sense to put a $400 cable in there. No, get yourself an affordable option because to be honest with you, the headphones that came in that box right there, those are the ones are going to be using the majority of the time. I'm still going to use these, um, but an affordable option, not cheap, not cheap quality at all. Uh, I like it. I like it. It's awesome. So if you need so, uh, a longer headphone cable, go to Heart Audio. Hold on, hold on. I don't want to say it wrong. Let me get his card here. Where is this card? Where is it at? Where is it at? Here it is. 
I'll put a link in the description, but it's heartaudiocables.com, right? And, you know, there's a, the email is contact at heartaudiocables.com. That's his uh, email. Um, the guy's name is James, apparently. That's what's on his card. So hopefully that's right, James. Thank you very much. Awesome cables. Love it. Um, thank you for not charging an arm and a leg for it for us blue collar workers out there. Love it. I think James, from everything I was reading about what was on their website, he was he was probably in my boat too. You know, blue collar worker. You know, stop charging an arm and a leg for some of this stuff, right? We want to be able to hear what we, you know, the music, but we don't we don't want to. It's it's not a down payment for a car. You <laughs> know, we don't want to spend that much money on on stuff for this. But Heart Audio Cables, give them a shout. Um, I'll put the link in the description, um, but really quality stuff, not cheap, very, very good quality stuff, affordable. That is the key. So hope this actually helps out. Really did do a really good job on it. Um, there's about, if you're wondering, there's about a two to three week when you custom order cables, it took about two to three weeks. So I think I ordered these on March 17th. Um, no, I want to say later than that. Around March 17th, it was later in March, sometime in March, like the, the third or fourth week of March, and it's now April 22nd. So you also got to factor in there was um, Easter in there as well, too. So that kind of affected the shipping. But shipping came from Texas two days. You know, they said it was going to be here on the 25th. It actually got here on the 22nd, which is Friday. So if you need an affordable option for a quality headphone cable, Go to Heart Audio. Thanks for watching.